Let's take a look at the fractions questions. All of these questions are non-calculator. So question one, what fraction with the bottom number of four is equivalent to nine twelfths? So let's write nine twelfths. And we want an equivalent fraction with a bottom number of four. So we need to think, what do you do to turn a 12 into a four? You divide by three. So for an equivalent fraction, if you're dividing the bottom by three, you also need to divide the top by three as well. And nine divided by three is three. So three quarters is the same as nine twelfths. So there's our answer. Question number two is a fraction of an amount. So what is seven sixths of 18? What we need to do here is take our total, divide it by the number on the bottom, and then multiply by the number on the top. 18 divided by six is three, 3 times 7 is 21. Question number 3 is a bit tricky. So um, what fraction with the top number of 5 is equivalent to 4 out of 20? So what we need to be thinking to ourselves is, well, what do, usually we'd be needing to think like this. What do you do to turn a 4 into a 5? But you can't just say add 1. You can't say that it's going to be 5 over 21. We've got to see it in terms of multiplication and division. Now, I don't know what you multiply four by to take it up to five. So we're gonna go backwards and simplify this fraction. Now four out of 20, if we divide the top and the bottom by two is two over 10. Can, does this help? What do I do to turn a two into a five? Not really very helpful. So let's simplify it again. It can be simplified. Two out of 10, we have two even numbers. So let's divide the top and the bottom by two. That's one fifth. Now this is a lot easier. What do you do to turn a one into a five? We're multiplying by five. So we need to multiply the bottom by five as well. And five times five is 25. So four out of 20 is the same as five out of 25. All of these four fractions have the same value. They're equivalent fractions, but four out of 20 is the same as five over 25 since it's asked for a fraction with the top number of five. Question four, very similar to question two, is a fraction of an amount. We're gonna take our total, we're gonna divide it by the number on the bottom, and then multiply it by the number on the top. 10 divided by two is five, multiplied by seven is 35. Question number five, we're converting mixed numbers into fractions. So what we need to do here is one multiplied by seven plus three. One seven is seven, plus three is 10, so the answer is 10 sevenths. There are seven sevenths in a whole, and then we have the another three sevenths, so that's 10 sevenths. Two times eight plus six, or two eighths is 16. 16 plus six is 22. Two times four is eight, plus one is nine, so that's nine eighths. Question number six, converting fractions into mixed numbers. What we need to be thinking here is, how many fives go into 13? This line in a fraction means divide. So the 13 over five is 13 divided by five. So how many fives go into 13? Well, five goes into 13 twice with a remainder of three. So our answer is gonna be two and the remainder of three over five. So two and three fifths. The, it's always gonna be the same bottom number in the mixed number as in the improper fraction or the top heavy fraction. 11 over two, how many twos go into 11? Two goes into 11 five times with one remaining, so that's five and one half. 36 sevenths is 36 divided by seven. How many sevens go into 36? Well, it goes five times with one left over, so that's five and one seven. Question number seven, we need to put these fractions in order of smallest to largest. Now the issue here is that they all have different bottom numbers. So what we need to do is turn them into equivalent fractions that all have the same bottom number. What we need to do is look at the one that has the biggest bottom number and hope that the other ones can go into 750 in this case. Now 775 definitely goes into 750. 34 over 75, that is the same as 340 over 750, just multiplying the top and the bottom by 10. This question is quite tricky because we don't have a calculator. How many times does 375 go into 750? Maybe you're struggling to even recognize that it does go in. 
Um, but it's 375 multiplied by 2 is 750. So if the bottom is multiplied by 2, we need to multiply the top by 2 as well. And 175 multiplied by 2 is 350, 750 ths. 250 goes into 753 times. So if we're multiplying the bottom by 3, we need to multiply the top by 3 as well. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 fractions, all with 750 as the bottom number. Now the smallest one is the one that has the smallest top number. So that's going to be the 330, 750 ths. So that is the 110 over 20, 250. That's the smallest. So let's just take that one out of the mix straight away. The next smallest is the 335 over 750. So that one's gone. The next smallest is going to be this one here, the 340 over 750. But the fraction was originally written as 34 over 75. And finally, 175 over 375. Smallest, largest. Question number eight um, is quite challenging because we can't order these fractions since they all have different numbers on the bottom. So we're going to have to convert them so that they all have the same number on the bottom. And I'm going to hope that we can turn all of them into fractions out of 340. So the best thing to do is take the fraction that's got the biggest bottom number and just see if you can turn all of them into um, a fraction with that number on the bottom. Now, 2 goes into 34 because 34 is even. Therefore, 20 goes into 340. So I can convert 20ths into 340ths. I know from playing darts that double 17 is 34. So 170 times by 2 is 340. So I can convert 170ths into 340ths. And 85 is half of 170. And 170 is half of 340. So 85 times by 4 is 340. So that's good news. We can convert them all into fractions out of 340, which means that we can leave that fraction completely alone. So 34 out of 170 is the same as 68 out of 340, just doubling the top and the bottom. 20 out of 85 is the same as 80 out of 340, just multiplying both the bottom and the top by 4 there. And uh, 2 times by 17 is 34, so 20 times 17 is 340. So we need to multiply 6 by 17. So 17 times 6 is 42, carry the 4, 1, 6 is 6, plus the 4 is 10, so it's 102. So now we've done the hard work, which is converting all of them into fractions out of 340. Now we are going to put them in order just by comparing the numbers on the top. So 102, 68, 85 and 80. So this is clearly the biggest, 102 over 340, which was originally the 6 twentieths. So let's get rid of those. Now we've got 68, 85 and 80. So it's going to now be um, 85 over 340, followed by 80 over 340, but that was originally the 20 over 85. And then finally, the 34 over 170. Not much fun, that one. Uh, question number nine, we are hoping we can convert them all into fractions out of 15, but 10 doesn't go into 15. So let's take the next number up in the 15 times table, which is 30. 15 obviously goes into 30, 3 goes into 30, 5 goes into 30, 10 goes into 30. So job done. So let's convert them all into fractions out of 30. So 10 times 3 is 30, so 17 times 3 is 51, so that's 51 thirtieths. 5 times 6 is 30, 9 times 6 is 54, 3 times 10 is 30, so 5 times 10 is 50. 15 doubled gives us the 30, so I'm going to double the top, that's 48. Now we're just comparing the top numbers, we want the smallest first, so 48 out of 30 is the smallest, which is the 24 fifteenths. The next smallest is the 50 which was the 5 thirds. The next smallest is the 51 out of 30, which is the 17 tenths. And finally, 9 fifths. Question number 10. Uh, we can convert all of them into fractions out of 24, meaning we can leave this one alone. 6 goes into 24, 8 goes into 24, 12 goes into 24. 45 out of 12 is the same as 90 out of 24, doubling the top and the bottom. 8 times by 3 
is 24 and 29 multiplied by 3 is 3 9 to 27 carry the 2 2 3 to 6 7 8 so that is um, 87 out of 24 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 so 22 times 4 is 88 so we're comparing 89 88 87 and 90 we we'll want the largest well that's the 90 which was the uh, 45 twelfths the next largest is the 89 over 24 which was originally the 89 over 24 so that's gone now as well the next largest is the 88 24 which is the 22 over 6 leaving me with the smallest which is the 29 over 8